Hi, welcome to Dragon Next to Speaking 13. Today I'm going to be looking at the Dragon Bar and looking at the vocabulary option and how you can learn from specific documents. Also, how to add your own words. So, first thing we need to do is go up to your Dragon Bar and select vocabulary. Left click once and it brings down the drop down list of six options. The first one is learn from Pacific document. So if you've been doing some work or an essay, what this does is it actually learns from that word document and then it adapts to your writing style. If you also tick it, it will enable you to add new words that's not already in your vocabulary. Let me show you how that works. If I do a left click. So see at the top here, it says this wizard will improve your accuracy by adapting to your document's writing style and adding new words to your vocabulary. Now you can choose whether or not you want to find unknown words by ticking it or unticking it. In this case I'm just going to untick it for now. But I definitely want to adapt to the writing style. So click next. It's then going to ask me to find that document. You can actually open a whole folder and then use all the files within that folder to adapt to your writing style. But I just want the one. So I'm going to add folder anyway. I'm going to choose documents and click OK. And then you see it adds all my Word documents in there with extension DOCX. As you can see, I can add folder, add a single document, or add Google Documents. I can actually remove documents from this folder by clicking Remove Documents. You're only removing them from the list, you're not actually deleting them off your computer. So I can choose exactly what I want it to adapt to. And I think that will do perfect. Click next and that's going to analyze it and adapt to my writing style from those documents. You have to make sure that they're actually your documents you've created not someone else's because it's adapting specifically to your writing style and your profile. And there we go, it's finished. Now if I click next, it will now adapt to my new writing style. Click next again as you can see it's got no new words were found but if you did it will give you a list of those words it's added but you can still choose to untick them so it doesn't add them to your profile but click finish and that's my writing style adapted to so that's one way of improving it from vocabulary go back to vocabulary again do the same from sent emails this will check email clients so if I click next as you can see it's only listed one there Microsoft now I last scanned that earlier today but as you can see, if you're using Gmail or Lotus Notes or Yahoo or Windows Live, you tick it and then it will then analyse it and add contact names from your email to your vocabulary and also improve your user profile from email writing style. It does make a big difference when you do your emails, so definitely consider this. Click next and it's done. No new words were added because they were added earlier anyway and now it will adapt to my writing style for emails and then click finish. So there's two quick ways of improving your profile. Now you can add a new word or phrase by adding it manually here. Now what I tend to do when I add a new word, I go to open vocabulary editor first and I put that word in to see if it exists in the first place. So let me put this first name in, Shandru it's pronounced. And as you can see at the bottom of here, it's not come up. So if it existed, it would have come up in the bottom list. Now, display search, and I've got all words, which I'm going to leave on, because that way it checks everywhere. And it's definitely not there. So what I'm going to do with that name is add it. Now, if I add it, it's asking me here on the right, spoken form with different. Well, now I spell it out phonetically. And I think that's probably how it sounds, Shandru, phonetically, Shandru. So I'll click Add, for I click Add, you see I've ticked here. I want to train the pronunciation of this word or phrase. Click Add and it will come up automatically for you to train. Click OK with the prompt. And now I'm ready to train it. So what I'll do is a minute, I'll say Go. And then this green light will flash green when it indicates that it's actually picked up. When I click go, I've got to say the name, and then when it's picked it up from the training, it will turn green and flash, and I'm done. So let me press go. Shandru. Shandru. Done. Go to sleep. Right, 
as you can see turn green the indicator is picked up and it's ready to go so I'll click close let's see if it's learned wake up Shandru go to sleep and it has no problem at all sometimes it doesn't always pick up first time but if you say the word four or five times most times it will then pick it up right let me go back up to Dragon Bar look back on vocabulary so that's open vocabulary editor if you know the word doesn't exist in there you want to add it manually you just click add new word or phrase and it bypasses the vocabulary editor the reason I use that is to see if the word already exists in your vocabulary because if it does already exist then all you need to do is train it not put it in again back to vocabulary now you can import list of words or phrases now you need to use a text document to do this which is extension .txt what it does is if you've got a list of words that are not standard words and not in your vocabulary you can add them and it's all import into your vocabulary once they're in there there's more chance of them picking up when you're dictating but you can also train them once they're in your vocabulary so I'm going to click import list of word or phrases this window pops up I can tick preview the list of unknown words click next now I need to add my text file now if you come down the bottom it tells you here note when importing a word list each line of text will be added to the vocabulary as a phrase or single word so it's really important how you actually put the format in, in your text document so click add file let me scroll down I've got a tester there I think most of these are added anyway because I've got quite a large vocabulary now but I'll see if it will add any more click next it's going to analyze that text file for new words or phrases click next again and there's a few there as you can see so what I can do now is go down and decide actually I don't want them in my vocabulary so I don't want that I don't know what that is there's the C and E's as phrases so I can untick them I don't really want them I don't want those so as you can see you can go down and untick what you don't want and when you're happy click next and then it will add them to your vocabulary and there it's done 16 new words were found 7 words were added to your vocabulary click finish and there you go it's now added to your vocabulary go back up to vocabulary and the last option is you can actually export all your custom words and phrases list by clicking the export button then that will export me as you can see the extension here save as type in text format and then you can use them or you actually could give them to someone else who's got dragon to import into their vocabulary list if they require them and then it goes your basic vocabulary options now while you're working in a word document you might want to add to vocabulary without having to keep going to dragon bar do it with a headset so should we give it a go wake up new paragraph open vocabulary editor